This is a demonstration of flying a Chinook helicopter in Ardu Pilot Software in the Loop simulation using the Real Flight 7.5 Flight Axis backend. So what I've got here is uh, the Chinook Sweetwater mod um, uh, CH47 um, helicopter out of the uh, Real Flight forums. Extremely good resource on the forums there for all sorts of different interesting aircraft, which is greatly assisted in Ardu Pilot development. So anyway, this model is quite detailed. It's got the two um, helicopter mechanics, so with the three servo swash plates, and um, it's also got uh, two motor throttles. I've disabled some of the extra servos, things like door servos and things. We don't really need those for flying it in Ardu Pilot. Um, and modifying this model uh, in order to make it controllable by Ardu Pilot was really just a matter of removing all of the mixes and the gyros and everything else that is normally comes along with one of these models to make it flyable off a uh, normal controller and instead just doing pass through directly to the six servos uh, with a little bit of um, uh, fix up of the the input radio mixes to in order to cope with the uh, the servo handling in the mechanics in real flight um, so basically we end up with a, a nice Chinook model which is directly controllable by Pilot. So if we pop back to the simulation here and um, so what I've on this side of the screen I've got Mission Planner running and connected to the uh, simulation and I've got a little flight plan loaded with four waypoints here plus a takeoff and an automatic landing waypoint using spline waypoints for a nice smooth curve around the end here and so we're just about ready to go for a flight so we're currently sitting in stabilized mode and disarmed on the ground and what I'm going to do first of all is arm the helicopter and uh, so it's now armed and you'll notice that the rotors haven't started spinning that's because with helicopters in Ardu Pilot you have an interlock switch and I've got that mapped onto one of the switches on my transmitter so I'll now click that interlock switch and so the rotors now spin up and so it's now ready to fly and we could now fly it in stabilizer, alt hold or loiter or any of the other modes but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, go and do a um, full auto mission so uh, should be ready to go so uh, clicking on auto the helicopter will then take off I think I've set it to a takeoff of about 10 meters and then it starts flying the mission so it's finished the takeoff and it's heading off onto the first waypoint. Now I should mention that uh, I've got a very slow Windows box that I'm running all this on. It's an old uh, Lenovo laptop and it really does struggle a little bit to keep up, particularly while doing video recording. When I first tried the video recording for this particular demo, I found that although the Chinook flew fine without the video running, as soon as I started the video it actually started oscillating badly and crashed. So I've, what I've done is I've detuned the pitch control considerably and that makes it just stable enough to fly with the uh, video recording. And so uh, also I've lowered the frame rate on the video recording a little bit. Alright, so here it is doing the spline waypoints here around that first turn and you see it's really doing quite nicely there. Uh, we can do the tuning and have a look at what's happening to the roll and the pitch as it comes up to this corner. So it is off by a, couple, a few degrees occasionally in the desired roll and, and pitch uh, versus the achieved and um, as I mentioned that, that does a bit better when I'm not recording a video but uh, it certainly isn't perfect and there, there could be more tuning done. Um, so uh, back to watching it fly we might uh, go and have a look for the chase view. So this dual helicopter support was actually done by Frederick Heiberg um, and did it as a, a patch to RG Pilot uh, nearly a couple of years ago I think but it hasn't made it into master and um, there was some significant architectural changes that made it easier to bring his, uh, his support for dual helis into master recently and so that's now uh, been revived as a new pull request and hopefully we'll go into master in the next day or two and uh, so uh, it was a very nice bit of work that Frederick did to, to add that support um, alright so it's now it's on its second lap and it's going to head up to waypoint number five soon. I think at the end there it's going to then turn around and come back and do the landing. I think it's done enough laps to do that. Let's see. And uh, yes, so it's now turning around and heading back towards the original startup position. And uh, then it'll come in for a, a fully automatic landing.
and I've set the descent rate quite high. It gets boring waiting for helicopters to come down while you're, um, you know, watching the simulations. So it actually descends quite rapidly for the first part. I've set it to five meters per second, and then I've set it as a slower landing for the last part. So it'll really slow down as it approaches the ground. It uses a little square root controller for the the transition between the high part and the low part of the landing. So now it's in the slow part of the landing. It'll descend down and touch down and then it should automatically disarm itself on the ground. And there it is. Right, so it's disarmed and looks as though it's within a metre or so of where it uh, aimed to be on the ground, which is not bad for something that's only been flying for a few hours. Um, and uh, so really going very well. Congratulations to Frederick, Frederick on your great work on Pilot dual heli support. And I look forward to many people flying some real uh, Chinook style helicopters in the future with Pilot. So uh, thank you for flying Pilot Airlines.